Hello, my name is Glenn Buckley. I'm the curator of the Tamworth Textiles Triennial here at Tamworth Regional Gallery. Uh, the exhibition is called Open House and it brings together a group of artists from across Australia, from every state and every territory. And this is the most exciting part of the exhibition that's happening right now as we unpack the crates and we get the work up on the walls or standing on plinths. And for me as a curator, it's been a show that I've thought about for a long time. Uh, I've worked in Tamworth before, maybe about 10 years ago, and I always have had a dream to do the textiles triennial. So to be here now, it's quite exciting. The show opens on Friday evening at six o'clock and it runs for three months. So if you get a chance to come and look, that'd be really fantastic. Uh, hello, my name is Emma Sheen. Uh, I'm Melbourne-based artist, uh, originally from uh, Japan. Um, I worked artwork for this Tamil textile triennial with 22 uh, local embroidery and uh, felt making artists. And um, uh, it's um, become a big, big collaborative work. And um, I'm so glad um, that everyone's very happy. Um, and then I really love this work uh, because each one of these small pieces are unique and then have a different, their own stories. And then I hope you will have a chance to uh, look at this exhibition in person. Thank you. Hi, I'm Loretta Weatherall and I'm the Indigenous Research Coordinator for the Gummaroo Guyangle Program. Um, I made a doll um, that's in the exhibition and my doll represents my youngest daughter. Um, she is into sports and she got picked to play for the Indigenous Oztag team. The doll is made from a shirt that she wore, that she got from the Indigenous team. Um, and also made a little football for her to tuck under her arm and the doll is like it's running. Hi, I'm Meredith Warner and I'm from Newcastle um, in New South Wales and my work from the Tamworth Textile Training Hall is entitled The New Neighbours. It is inspired by uh, coral reefs and some of the issues that they're facing at the moment and is a large installation that's made up of over 400 individual embroideries that are inspired by a particular species of coral that I think we might see more of as we have um, greater issues with our coral reefs dying. These guys might move in and become the new neighbours on the reef. My name's Aunt Trina Ham. I'm a Yorta Yorta artist from Victoria and I've been practicing art for around 35 years. Uh, I've got three pieces in this show. First one is a possible skin cloak that I made uh, in remembrance of my great-grandfather who served in the First World War along with his two nephews and they both passed away. My second work is was based on a story that Dolly Parton told once on a Good Morning show uh, about how poor she was. So she mentioned how she used Mercura Chrome as lipstick, burnt matches to do eyebrows and flour to do a face as foundation. So um, it was a big effort, probably the biggest, uh, one of the biggest things I've ever made doing that Bush Beauty Kit uh, because it was very meticulous in uh, making something like that, especially when there's a landscape on the top. The last one is a woven dress. Within that too is bush ink that I used for dye, which my old auntie taught me how to do, how to um, make without going to the shops and buying too much dye. Um, that's the beauty of being an artist and working with your elders and going into the bush and getting resources. So there's a sort of facets of all work that come from two different directions. They come from traditional and the bush and they also come from contemporary and adaption. My name's Joy Ivel, I'm a confessional artist. I grew up in at Maroopa Beach before it was gentrified a long time ago and my life informs my art. Uh, why I'll never take acid again, faithful with lies. I, I've drawn upon a true uh, experience that happened decades ago. I was 23, as a matter of fact. It really happened to me. But we won't go into it. 